Hey guys, my name is Dan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking all about Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest at home. Uh, a bit of a special fixture for me personally because it was this fixture last season that I was at the Emirates for, which is awesome game day number one, uh, which we won that time. Although that was the uh, that was the game that Timber got his injury on. Um, so yeah, it was a big important game in this this season as well. Obviously, we've had a really quite poor run of form in the league. Um, a little bit in the Champions League as well. We lost that game against Inter Milan, but um, mainly in the league, we've not been performing well, performing well in the league. We, you know, I mean, the result against Newcastle, the draw against Chelsea, the draw against Liverpool. We've had, you know, we've been dropping a lot of points this season so far compared to last season, and um, it's showing obviously in the league. And we had to, you know, we had a good international break. We had a lot of players stay home, which is good. Saka and Rice in particular. Rice still is not quite a match for it, but Saka was, you know, clearly benefited from the time off. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about Saka and international thing a bit later because I think, you know, I want to talk a little bit. But um, yeah, so it was an important game. It was a game after the international break where we can sit there and go, draw a line in the sand and go, okay, here we go. This is where our season starts because now we don't have to worry about international breaks for a little while. Um, and also, um, you know, we've got a relatively easier kind of run of fixtures. Having said that, we do have Man United soon. Um, but we've had a really hard start to the season. Uh, Liverpool, Man City, um, Chelsea as well, who are doing pretty well at the moment. Um, you know, they're all doing really well. We've had to play them all. So, you know, with Forest is kind of a start of a quote-unquote easier run of form. Although, not only Forest, you can't take anything away from them. Um, they're a very tough team to play against. They've had some really good results so far this season, to be fair. And, um, you know, say not in Forest, and you can, it's quite easy to dismiss them for that. But um, when you actually look at the results they've had this season, you think, well, actually, it's not an easy game. And it turned out, I think, to be easier than... We all thought it was going to be, especially that first half. We blew them away. I mean, we did only go in to the half time one nil up, but we were dominating and we were we we looked in complete control. Um, I think you know, in hindsight, I think this is probably the best game we've played in a long time, probably a couple of months. Um, totally comfortable, really. I mean, they had a couple of shots. But none of them were on target, and um, you know that speaks to itself. To be honest with you, you know the whole team played really well. Saka just brilliant. You know his the the effect Erdogan has on Saka is absolutely amazing. Uh, when Saka and Erdogan are playing and they're fit and they're strong and they're good, they're all, they're pretty much unplayable. Uh, Erdogan was a massive influence on Saka's goal. Uh, Saka just brilliant. Runs across the face of the. The goal and shoots it into the far corner and it goes straight in. It's a really, really good goal. And you have to say, you have to kind of say that. You have to say this. You kind of start to expect this from Saka now. Saka does seem to kind of, at a lot of times, take the team on his shoulders and force us to get a good result. Um, once that goal went in, I think that was it, really. I mean, we looked in control after that. I and mean, then obviously, he then gets another assist, um, another assist for the season um, with Partey, passes the ball, Partey, Partey, and uh, he, another long way shot, we do know that he has that in his locker, he tries it a lot, doesn't always come off, but when it does, it's a really, really good goal, um, and yeah, it was a really good goal, and once that goal went in, he was like, okay, cool, we just got a sharp shot now, half an hour left to play, and yeah, that's pretty much it, the substitutions worked out really well, Sterling came on, got an assist, and when Ethan and Ranieri came on, what a player this guy is. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Wayne Ranieri because I've been raving about him for a little while. Um, 17 years old, he's now officially the second youngest player to score a Premier League goal for Arsenal. He's got his first Premier League goal of his career and it was a really, really good goal as well. Um, it, was not just, uh, it wasn't just a tap-in, it wasn't just like a, a gift or a penalty or anything. He had to work really hard for it. It was a really, really slick goal. Uh, so all credit to him. 3-0. Another clean sheet for Raya. Just kind of, kind of sets the tone now. Okay, cool. This is where our season's really going to start now. This is where we have to start going on a bit of a good one and try and win as many games now between now and, and New Year's and see where we are. Um, City dropping points is massive. We're only a point behind them now. Um, Chelsea seem to be doing well anyway. So, you know, I think 
they're still with us as well in terms of points. But um, yeah, just talking about Liverpool now. Uh, Liverpool, they did struggle against Southampton. Southampton just self-sabotage so much. It's just so annoying. It must be really frustrating being a Southampton fan. Um, I thought they did really well, to be honest with you, even though they just, you know, at times they just looked like they were trying to gift Liverpool the win. Um, but they made Liverpool work for it, and I think Liverpool have shown that they're not infallible and that they are, they can be got at if you're good enough. Um, I think if any team was a little bit better than Southampton this weekend, I think maybe they could have got on the point. Liverpool didn't look really at it until, um, you know, they scored their third goal. But, um, yeah, just other results going our way. Obviously, Spurs beating City. I mean, i will give Spurs that win, you know, cool. They're going to go and lose against Fulham next weekend. They lost against Sip Swish the last weekend. Um, you know, so if they go and beat City, that just helps Arsenal, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a really interesting, like, second half of the season I think you know if Liverpool can win all the rest of their games they've got City coming up next I think if I'm not mistaken um, or maybe the game after next um, and that could go either way uh, Liverpool tend to struggle against City uh, so yeah I mean, it, it, this season's going to be crazy I feel like um, I don't think that Liverpool are going to go on this massive, massive winning streak and then win the rest of their games. I think they are going to lose a couple or more than a couple. Um, it's just about us catching up with them now. It's similar position to last season, if I'm not if I'm not incorrect in saying that. I think we were seven or eight points behind them at some point last season and we ended up finishing like a lot of points ahead of them. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And, and City can still, you know go on a winning streak, they've still got a good team, you never know what they can do, um, so yeah, like I said, we just had to get the win in this game, um, get a result in this game, clean sheet if we could, and you know, kind of settle ourselves a little bit, hopefully they can rush this back next game, um, we've got sporting coming up in midweek, uh, Tuesday night, I think it's Wednesday morning my time, um, that should be fun. Hopefully we can get another win for that. Um, because, you know, we lost against Inter Milan and we should have won that game. And uh, we need to keep that momentum going as well. I don't expect too much rotation. I think we rotated a lot in the first game, but I think for the sporting game. Um, you know, I think Martinelli's going to start sporting, for example. Um, Havertz as well. Um, he didn't come off the bench in this game. He didn't play at all. I mean, we played a lot for Germany in the international, so... Um, fine, we didn't end up needing him, thank God. So, you know, that's fair enough. But I, I expect Kai Havertz and Martin Daly to start against Sporting. Um, and then, yeah, midweek, next weekend, sorry. I mean, the next couple of games, really. We've got West Ham away next weekend. That's going to be a super tough game. And then we've also got Man United midweek next week, which is going to be um, very interesting. You know, Man United games are always interesting when it's with Arsenal. There's always controversy. Uh, but we do quite well against them at home at the Emirates. We do we have got quite a good was uh, record recent record anyway against Man United at home. So hopefully we can get a couple of wins, get six more points on the bounce, and and go from there and head into the Christmas period. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, I just thought I'd talk about this game a little bit. It's a really good game. Like I said, we dominated the game. Um, I thought. Timber did really well. Um, Ray obviously did really well as well. He got a clean sheet. Um, Sterling hasn't. I haven't rated Sterling at all since we played, but uh, since we got him, but he did well in this game. Um, he got a decent assist. Um, Ethan and Winery, man, like absolutely amazing player. Um, I think he. I think we've all been proved wrong now. We all wanted. I did to start giving him minutes a lot quicker than he has. Uh, but I think he's paying off now. He's gradually easing him into the first team and not chucking him in loads and loads and loads like we did with Saka when we needed him, um, when Saka first died. Um, and playing him out of position because we just got to play Saka. So hopefully Emineri is benefiting from this. I think he's doing really well. He's got a couple of goals now for us in all competitions. So, um, yeah, doing brilliantly. I just wanted to talk about the whole Saka thing. There was a... Media question about oh oh um, was Saka really injured? You know, did he could he not go on to England? Um, he seemed alright when he played against Forest. Well, he didn't play. He was too injured to play 
against for England, sorry. Um, I think that's just bullshit, to be honest with you. I think I'll have to call it out. So, look, I'll provide the scans if you like. Um, it's just, you know, everything's all good until an Arsenal player does it or until an Arsenal does it. City have routinely, for example, kept Haaland back from playing for his national team. Uh, every single team does it. Every single team has their player that they kind of don't want to go on a meaningless international break in mid-season, especially when it's the third one in three months. Um, yeah, and no one's got any problem with it until it's Arsenal. And suddenly, oh, Saka, could he have not played? Well, no, he was injured. And Saka's played a hell of a lot of football over the last five years. Um, you know, he deserves to have a couple of breaks every now and again. And, you know, England did just fine without him. And the opposite of the end of that is, oh, oh Madureke played really well for England. So does that mean that Saka's position is under threat? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, guarantee you, when Tuchel plays his first game for England... Saka's going to be the first name that he writes down in his team sheet, or in the squad list anyway. Saka's position in the England squad is absolutely comfortable. Under no threat whatsoever. It's just media bullshit because of, I don't know whether it's because it's Saka or whether it's because he's an Arsenal player, but everyone seems to just pile in when anything, anything happens to do with Saka. It's all. Oh, um, it's, just, it's just really interesting. Uh, really interesting to watch. Um, for me, I think Madureke needs to be compared to Edwin Eri. I think, you know, if Edwin Eri starts playing game in and game out, I think he's going to have more of an impact than Madureke has for Chelsea. Um, but it is what it is. And, you know, we're kind of used to it with Saka. We're kind of used to it with Arsenal. Um, it's just everything's okay until Arsenal does it. Um, and, you know, another player in a similar position to Saka has a good game. Uh, oh, does that mean, is he better than Saka? Or should we compare him to Saka? Like, Saka, at the moment, is incomparable to any other player in the league, except for maybe Salah. That's it. No one else, you can't compare anyone else to Saka at all. No way. There's no way that anyone else, not even Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, you can't do anyway, because it's a different position. Um, but, no, he's incomparable, unless it's Saka. Uh, Salah, sorry. Um... Um, yeah, uh, those two players you can compare, but that's it. Uh, so none of this Madureke bullshit, none of this other, whatever other player you want to name. Um, you know, Saka is special, is one of, if not the best player in the league, and has been for the last couple of years, except for maybe Haaland scoring goals, and Salah as well, maybe in the couple of years before that. Um, I think this season up until now, Saka's been the best player of the, in the league, so deal with it um anyway guys that's me enough enough from rambling for me um really hope that you enjoyed the game uh let me know what you thought about the game have i missed a player that did well that i haven't mentioned um you know i think marino did well i think he's had his i think that was his best game for arsenal um i think the whole back line did well as well so especially when it's kind of makeshift at the moment you know our fullbacks are just dropping like flies right now ben white's out for a few months um Tommy Asu's out for a while, apparently. So we were kind of relying on Calafiori and Timber at the moment in that right back position. So it's going to be interesting to see how we cope for the next you know, month or so. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about the game. Let me know what you think about the season. Do you think Liverpool are going to run away with it? Do you think C are going to catch up? Do you think we can catch up with Liverpool ourselves? Um, yeah, we'll have a discussion about it. So anyway, take it easy, guys. I'll see you guys next weekend for the game against West Ham and then obviously uh, midweek for the game against Man United as well. I probably won't do a video for the Champions League game. Um, I'll wait and I'll incorporate that, incorporate that into the West Ham game video. So anyway guys, have a good week. I'm going to have a really good week and um, I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Adios.